Hey guys, it's Jack. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game. Paper Mario, the thousand your door. Where I have saved you guys a little bit of time and I went ahead and came back up to this door off screen so you don't have to watch that again. In the meantime, Coops, I think I need you to get that key. And I'm going to very carefully not fall down again. I'm pretty sure that if you planned ahead of time, you could actually maybe use Koops' hold ability to uh, pause in front of that switch so you could just come straight back up, but I sure didn't do that. Hey, there's our third shine sprite, so we will be able to upgrade our first partner. Good. I don't remember these being particularly hidden. So, kind of not surprised we've already run into three of them. Oh! I forget how fast you are. Oh, we got quite the assortment going on here. Hmm. What would be the best way to handle this? Oh, right! I've got the power block still. Unfortunately, it only works on ground-based enemies, so before I can do that, I need to put everybody on the ground. And I actually might have wanted to put this guy on his back. I just want to power shell this. Because otherwise he's probably going to... Uh, he's still going to power us. No, he didn't. Good. Alright, jump on this guy, miss it completely, but I will definitely pal now. Go! And that finishes one off, and Mario will finish off the other with ease. Brings us up to 90? Just short. I don't get another power block. Actually kind of upset by that. Ooh, actually... Ah, oh, you struck first. And you have a power block! I don't care for this! Alright, that puts them all on the ground. Now you power shell. Ouch. 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 Okay, now I'm gonna... Uh, should I multi-bounce again? I could try it. Good. Now they're all helpless, and they're at my mercy. And my mercy is very merciful, <laughs> apparently. Hey, catch you this time. I heard that noise just in time. Right, I'm going to jump on this guy to keep him on the ground. And then this might work if I hit the action command. Good. And now I can finish you off without ever suffering that POW! Thank you! Brings me up to 95, man! And I get the POW block. It's kind of tempting to go inside and find a fight. Should I go find a fight to get that level? Is there anybody close by? I think I pretty much cleaned everybody out. Man, five experience points shy. Yeah, I can't think of any fights that I skipped. Oof. Oof. Five experience points shy of a level up. Oh, but before I go any higher, I'm going to go ahead and equip that badge. Hmm. 
Why? Well, we might be getting to a point where it's necessary and I won't find it super annoying. We'll see. Maybe. Oh! There's a fight! Is this gonna get me my level? It should. Ooh! And I just got that pal block too. Coops, have some fun. Power block, go. Awesome. Mario got slapped in the face a bit, but this is going to be great. I level up right before the boss. Oh, I'm so happy. Perfect. Nine star points! Plenty! Level up! And this will be my HP level up, so we're going into this with 20 HP. Very, very, very nice. Should actually make this fight somewhat of a joke. Although I have a bad habit of saying that and it coming back to bite me. So let's save! Yes. And we're saved. Good. Who dares approach me? You are a big dragon. Actually kind of cool looking too. Hmm, so you are friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. What I'll do is I'll saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down. Head first. I'm never sure what the strange garbed one she's talking about is. Snack time, little appetizers, but which one of you morsels should I taste first? Whether it is, um, is it, uh, is it Miss Mouse? Or is it Pete, Princess Peach? Did Princess Peach make it this far? All right, either way, title her. Stylishly, please. I didn't do it stylishly. That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It'll stomp and munch on you, and it has a more dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing, and it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing. It hates things that start with Kerr and end with Ikit. Supposedly, there's something related to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? We did. And I got burned for it. But, uh... Let's, uh, expose her weakness for massive damage! Blech! That awful sound. It sounds like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. Er, I got really bad, uh, food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, bite it, Hooky. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. So that will drop her defense pretty significantly. All the way to zero, basically. And I think it might drop her power slightly. Not by much. But it does make this fight easier. It's not necessary, but I like the extra dialogue. Ooh, must not gag. My poor Tommy. So very woozy. The extra dialogue is worth equipping it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't because I like the challenge. Oh, yeah, fire breath does not hurt very much at all now. Your bell is kind of 
hurting, but suck it up, Buttercup. We're almost done here. Ooh, do I get stars? Nope. I got a shine sprite. Not as good. Oh, wait. Hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry. For everything. Er, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins, fiend! What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? Then how about this lovely rare extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, you can! Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now. Really. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? That's disgusting. Mmm, 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 You aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone you know. Er, I guess I'd better? Attack the studio audience! So now, Hooktail has regained 10 HP and our audience is completely gone. That's just terrible. <laughs> ah, now my strength has been returned to me. That's it. Enough of this. Let's finish him off once and for all, Mario. Yeah. And now we're fighting in the stands. Go ahead and power jump again. Yeah. Get you weak. But why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear it? Or cricket. <laughs> of course, that doesn't do any good. We're shaking some of the audience members loose. Ouch. Go ahead and power jump again for the last time. Just enough FB. But, but, I, I... How? Why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. That's quite the impact. And 30 star points. Oh man, did the mic pick up my controller? Yes, we did it, Mario. All we have to do now is search for that crystal star we can't seem to locate. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa, it it can't be. Eh? Da dad. Hey, you're you're Coops. Hey, son, you've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah. I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a little trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy was it nasty, yuck. I'm so glad to finally get out, <laughs> Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried we about you we all were? For ten long years we all thought you'd you know, we thought it was your we thought your game was over. Oh sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail who's been wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? 
This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for? Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend. Please take it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a crystal star! And you learned the special move, Earth Tremor! End of chapter! Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long lost father whom he thought was dead. Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. Single game? Progress? Yes. Your progress was saved. But your princess is in another castle. Specifically a castle in space. Oh, hey, Lord Grump. Oh, great exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. <laughs> it's not delivery, it's Princess. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me. It's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We ex knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars. And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was the mustached dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me, Mario? Oh, no! <laughs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men. Take good care of Princess Peach, understood? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump. If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we've been hunting in the Bogley Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh, yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus, and, uh, with that, pal, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. x not. I summon you. You ring, dude? I mean, sir? You ring? Sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus? Sir? Grotus, sir? Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The sh Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end, it, end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now. 
Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us, then we arrive without delay. Mwee <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Belden. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There are too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is to find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed. That is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x naught plan. I will have my men preparing all available information on this, on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come, we've got a job to do. Go. <laughs> Interesting, the plot thickens and someone appears to be watching for, uh, me. Oh dear. Here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again. But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I? Anyway, it's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Okay, so let's explore our surroundings. We seem to be in some sort of locker room with a Kind of a utility closet, really. Like, we have a bed. We've got a lamp on a ladder. Can we leave? Hmm. Doesn't seem to open. Of course not. Well, what's this way? Oh, look! This utility locker has a bathroom. With a bath. All the comforts of home. I guess we could take a shower. What a lovely shower. No soap scum even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Quick dry off, and dressed again, and crown on head. How refreshing, I feel like a new princess. May I just say that I really like Princess Peach with her hair up and a ponytail like that. I think that's one of her best looks. It's so cute and wiggly. Of course, once you, oh look. Hmm? What was that? Hey, how odd! The doors open by themselves! Once you leave, her hair goes back down and she's normal princess again. Which I'm actually kind of sad about. I would have liked the opportunity to have her walk around in a ponytail. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Alright, well we can't go here. Can we? It doesn't work. Nope. All we can do is go down the hallway. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. <gasps> Bum. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the tech double X. 
Many call me tech, you may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great pers person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an un unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There's more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything I do not understand, please. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible that, well, you're... in love? With me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. I mean, he did spy on you in the shower, so he saw your giggly bits. Wait, you don't know what love is? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> love? How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy. Smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun, I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Compre comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing ca you called love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. M nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course I am una unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You ex-jerks kidnapped me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here to, uh, and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Huh. Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Okay then, good night.
Good night, Princess Peach. And with that, I think we're going to call it an episode here, guys. Next time, we might go spy on somebody else, or we might go talk to Mario and get ready to go to Chapter 2. We'll see. But uh, thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you let me know. Give me your likes, comments, and make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Later.